Hey folks, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Today, we're gonna get ready to raid the Broken Coast and paint some Satixis horns. So let's get started. So the fun thing about painting Satixis horns is that there's a lot of variations. There's no one way to do it. So there's no wrong recipe, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. I've already base coated with some Hammerfall khaki, but you could use Jackbone or Minoth White base. And the idea is to highlight and then use some glazes and washes to darken them down. You wanna keep the tips dark and the base light. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and start painting. So with the Hammerfall khaki already applied, I'm gonna use some Minoth White highlight. And I'm gonna very quickly paint in a couple highlights. I'm just gonna focus on the ridges of the horns. I'm gonna focus on the front of the horns. I don't need to go all the way up because the tips of the horns are actually the darkest area. With these being natural elements, they can be a little loose. They don't have to be perfect. They're growing out of her and nothing that grows is perfect. The universe hates perfection, so why should you care? All right, pretty simple so far. Let's move on to some shading. So for this, I'm gonna use Battlefield Brown with a touch of Great Coat Gray. So the Great Coat Gray adds a bit of blue and desaturates my Battlefield Brown, which is pretty desaturated already. But this makes a nice brown kind of gray color. I like this color for creating bone effects and things of that nature. I'm gonna go ahead and add a drop of mixing medium to this as well. And this will increase the translucency. So for this, I'm gonna start at the tips. I made this pretty thin. I'm gonna just start bringing that down. Just working it down the length of the horns, shading them. Your biggest goal here is keeping this in the crevices. You wanna shade everything on this stage, but you do want the majority of it to the tips and on the underside of the horns. I want to accentuate those deep lines. Once we finish this step, we can move on to our next. I'm going to grab a touch of Thamar Black. And a drop of brown ink. Maybe two drops. It's a little too black. Let's mix over here. There we go. We're gonna add a drop of mixing medium. Once again, we're gonna start at the tips and we're gonna bring this down, but not as far as we did with that first shade. This is just gonna add that warm blackness to those tips, darken them up, and give us that contrast we like so much. Just working around the horn. You can glaze down if you want, just to put that warmth in there. Keeping it very, very thin as you get to the base. Don't want to overdo it. As that dries, add a second round of that, just to get it super dark on those very tips. Put a little bit more shade on the underside, maybe. And if you really wanted to, grab a little bit of that super dark, a little bit, so it's got a little more Thamar black. Do just the very, very, very tips and blend that out. Now really darken those out, especially after you dull coat. Remove all that shine and just make them look really black. All right, and in just a few easy steps, I've got my horns ready on my Satixis, and I'm ready to hit the battlefield. Looks like we're ready to gore enemies or just look awesome while we get to pirate in. Join me next time as we bring the bloody to our buccaneers with Satixis Sanguine. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 hobby line.
Hey friends, Daz here with Privateer Press. Today we're gonna learn about the window. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Scan. What do you want? You did it. 